This is a printed heart for a 10-year-old uh, child who was born with congenitally corrected transposition of great arteries and a double outlet right ventricle. So we see here the right atrium is connected with the left ventricle, and the left atrium is connected with the right ventricle, and both great vessels come out of the right ventricle. This is the aorta, which is anterior, and the pulmonary artery is posterior. For the complexity of this lesion, the patient was routed for a univentricular heart in the form of an extracardiac fontan circulation, where the IVC is hooked up to the right pulmonary artery and the SVC is hooked up to the right pulmonary artery, excluding the intracardiac repair. Unfortunately, his fontan circuit has failed, and he presented with protein-losing enteropathy. So the question was, could we convert this heart back into a biventricular repair by rerouting the inside of the heart into a, a two functioning two ventricles? And the way to do this, in general, is something what's called a double switch technique. In this particular patient, we were able to take that extra cardiac uh, conduit out, and through the 3D printing, we were able to see and open this. So this is a real structure of his heart that we're able that we can route the inferior vena cava into the tricuspid valve, and the pulmonary veins will drain into the mitral valve, which will be the left ventricle. And if we, once we opened here, we were able to see and examine that this is the VSD, this would be routable to the aorta. So the left ventricle will eject through the VSD into the tunnel, into the aorta. We were able only to see that this is feasible with a 3D printing. The intracardiac anatomy is very difficult to see sometimes with only a, a, uh, an echo or other modalities uh, for that matter. Uh, this patient underwent the reconstruction with a, uh, um, a double switch technique, and he was discharged home with a two-functioning biventricular repair.